How's it going guys? I was requested by a YouTube user to do a review on the America Westgate Pro Model Shoe. Um, America is part of SDI or Soul Technology Institute, which is the same companies as um, S and uh, Etnies. So um, have you ever worn the uh, S, Etnies, or America shoes are all alike. They all feel the same. So um, I do not own a pair of these shoes. I've been dying to get a set though, um, but I still know the general aspect of what the shoes are and what they have inside them, so this will be quite easy. Uh, they are a mid-top. They do kind of rip off the uh, half cab, so if you like the design of the Vans half cabs, you're going to like these as well. Um, they have triple stitching where it's very crucial, especially on the uh, exterior toe cap in the front and the side panels, so that way it's a lot harder to bust through. They are a vulcanized shoe, and they have double wrap on them. I actually own the uh, Jerry Sue Lowe's, and you can actually see there's two different sets of Volk on here. You got one right here, and then you have your original Volk right here. You Westgates are the exact same thing. They are double wrapped, vulcanized construction. Um, they have uh, molded collar lining in the shoe, so that way when you wear them, uh, you are uh, fully padded and also your uh, feet stay in the shoe so that way if you fall your shoe doesn't go flying off your feet. It has a STI level 2 footbed inside of it which is great for those people who want to uh, be able to jump down you know the big gaps with this shoe so that way you get all that uh, comfort and protection that you would want you still get that really nice gel feel so that way you know you're able to take all those big impacts and not feel it on your feet it also comes with the System G2 six shooter in the heel of it, and typically you can tell if it does just because the vulcanized ones they have this little uh, what would be it used to be an America symbol on the shoe, but just from you know wear and tear it falls off. I think if I flip it, you can actually still see it. Where's the light? Hey, it's camera. There you go. So yeah, you can still see it. There's the America symbol. Um, but yeah, that kind of helps uh, show you that there is a six shooter on the inside of the shoe. Um, whether it be vulcanized and uh, even cup soles do, like the Herman uh, G-Codes has a little America thing in the back and it does have a six shooter inside of it. Um, it has a mid-level tongue, so that way for those of you that really uh, do not like the big tongues to where it actually feels like it's pressing against your foot, um, and also for those people that don't like the paper-thin tongues to where it actually feels like, you know, if you tighten it too much it cuts into your ankle. The mid-level is really good because it gives you best of both worlds. It's thin enough to where you're still able to get all the uh, movement within the shoe, but it's also padded enough to where if your board starts coming at you and hits you right above the ankle, you're not going to be in excruciating pain because of it. Um, typically, the Westgates have a gum rubber sole, and that's actually the best sole in skating because it has the best grip in it, but it also has the best board feel. With that though, they do wear down a little bit faster than usual. Um, just because it is a gum upper sole, but still, you know, for the lifespan that you're going to be using with the shoes, you're going to get the best feel um, by far of any other shoe. Overall, for the shoe, honestly, I, I'm dying to get a set of these shoes. I love Soltech. Everything from Soltech is awesome. And uh, just a good performance shoe, you know, coming from Brandon Westgate himself, he's a guy who likes to do, you know, quite big gaps, but also likes to go as fast as humanly possible. I think he's given Boosnitz. I run for his money at speed now, um, but also, you know, just coming from Soltech, you know they're not going to let you down as far as performance and also comfort. They're not going to sacrifice that comfort to be able to add on things to the shoe that you would, would not necessarily need. And uh, overall, a really good shoe. I'm stoked on how it turned out. Um, again, it, if you like the, the uh, half cab look of shoes, this is definitely one of those that has that same half cab look to it. But as far as performance, it does so much better. Um, if you have any questions about this review, I know this one was incredibly vague. Um, again, I wish I had the shoe to kind of help you with the review, but I'm still on the search for them uh, as we speak. If you have any questions about this review, leave it in the comments below. If you have anything you'd like me to review, please just send me a message. Uh, don't send it or put it in the comments because otherwise it will get lost in the comment threads. Um, typically when I log on, I see that people have left comments. It's usually just the most recent one, so I usually just check that. 
um, and it leaves the reviews that you guys asked for within the videos themselves. Um, so yeah, send me a message um, either on here or on my Facebook, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, have fun skating, guys.